Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 19. And Achav told Isabel, eth all that Eliyahu had done, and eth withal how he had slain, eth all the prophets with the sword. Then Isabel sent a messenger unto Eliyahu, saying, So let the Elohim do to me, and more also, if I make not eth your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Be'er Shiva, which belongs to Yahuda, and left Eth his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, It is enough. Now, O Yahuwah, Take away eth my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake, bacon on the coals, and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of Yahuwah came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for you. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Chorev, the mount of Elohim. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of Yahuwah came to him, and he said unto him, What do you hear, Eliyahu? And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahuwah Elohim Savoth, for the children of Yashadael have forsaken your covenant, throw down, rather, thrown down at your altars, and slain at your prophets with the sword. And I, even I alone, am left, and they seek eth my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before Yahuwah. And behold, Yahuwah passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before Yahuwah. But Yahuwah was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But Yahuwah was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But Yahuwah was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. And it was so, when Eliyahu heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, What do you hear, Eliyahu? And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahuwah Elohim Savaoth, because the children of Yashadael have forsaken your covenant, thrown down at altars, and slain at your prophets with the sword. And I, even I alone, am left, and they seek at my life to take it away. And Yahuwah said unto him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you come, anoint at Chazael, to be king over Aram, and Eth Yahu, the son of Nimshi, shall you anoint to be king over Yashadael, and Eth Eliyasha, the son of Shaphat, of Evel Mokala, shall you anoint to be your, rather, to be prophet in your room, and it shall come to pass that him that escapes the sword of Hazael 
shall Yahu slay, and him that escapes from the sword of Yahu shall Elishai, rather, shall Elisha slay. Yet I have left me seven thousand in Yashadael, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which has not kissed him. So he departed thence and found Eth Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him, and he with the twelfth. And Eliyahu passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left at the oxen and ran after Eliyahu and said, Let me, I pray you, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said unto him, Go back again. For what have I done to you? And he returned back from him, and took Eth a yoke of oxen, and slew them, and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen, and gave unto the people, and they did eat. Then he arose, and went after Eliyahu, and ministered unto him.